All right, I did not even answer your question. And your question was why I left ISRA, right? See, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had a crystal clarity. And my clarity was that I'm going to do exactly this. Doing seminars all across the country. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to leave my job. And when I was in ISRO, I had already done seven seminars in total. Twice in Chennai, once in Bangalore, twice in Mumbai. The last two being Mumbai and Delhi, which were like paid. It was like 100 rupees per ticket. And it brought us to no profit, no loss. It covered just the flight tickets and the hotel ticket, uh, hotel payment, whatever it was. And at that point, I understood that, okay, I can create some money on my own as well. And it's simple, I'm a good speaker. Uh, people want to listen to me. And I'm going to do seminars all across the country. And when I left my job, I immediately uh, made a website, started selling tickets. Chennai seminar, Mumbai seminar, Bangalore seminar, almost got filled up. It was a uh, house full. And then what happened? What happened after that? COVID pandemic, right? So you can have a crystal clear idea and uh, you can do what you want to do, but what happens to you, you do not control. But you do what happens to you and after that what you do, that you 100% control. So what I did is that I did something that I did not plan of before. I started Art of Speaking, which is an online course on personality development. And uh, so far we have had over 300 students of Art of Speaking. It is still running if you go to ashishtalk.com. And I would have never done that if COVID pandemic never happened. I would have never thought of that. So yeah, you think that you want to do something, it is more important for you to do it, not worry about what if that happens, what if that happens. You have to make those moves and adapt accordingly what happens next. And that is the best skill that you can learn. Everybody over here talks about safety. How can I be safe? How can I be sure? How can, how can I have a secure future? How do I know for sure that I will be all right? You don't know for sure. How do you know? Coming over here, I might have gotten an accident. Uh, accident. I might not have reached this place. You, don't, you know what is going to happen next? That's the stupidest thing that you can think of, but we all do that to be secure, safe. It's not possible to be secure. It's a very unpredictable world. How can you be secure? It's not possible. So that's what I did. I made that decision. And leaving ISRO was engraved in me when I was in Bark itself. Because that's where the events that happened that I mentioned in this book, that's when I started to understand you cannot rely on a job for a source of income. And you cannot even rely on a career for a sustained source of income. That's how I make myself safe. I have dig deep in multiple careers. I have made sure that I don't require a boss. And that's how I proceed. And that's how I remain secure throughout my life. Not by having a fixed source of income, but having a dynamic nature in myself. That secures my future. Because the one person who has skills, nobody can take a job away from that person. Understood? And that's why. I was able to leave even the job of ISRO. Because it was very easy for me to settle down with the job of Department of Atomic Energy. Did I? No. I went for better. I went for what I wanted to. And then I got that, that nature is not going to change. So I kept on working. It was very easy for me to do a 9 to 5 and work towards my promotion in Indian Space Research Organization, the best job that you can get in this country. Very easy. Why am I making YouTube videos? Why am I trying to do something extra? Why am I doing seminars all across the country paying money? The first five seminars was 100% free. Both, uh, both Chennai seminars that I did were 100% free in 2019. Why am I investing money in these things? Because I want a world to be created around me. That is why I kept on working and that is why I was in a position. Your question should not be why you left this row. Your question should be how you left this row. Everybody wants to leave the job they have. The question is, how are you going to do it? Understood. And it's okay to have a job. Like that's what I'm having a lot of trouble explaining a lot of young people as well, like who don't want to have a job. They're like, I'm going to do a startup in my undergraduation itself. Understand what a job is. Understand to work in a hierarchy. Understand the whole system. And then you make a system. 
Otherwise, you are not going to do anything. You're going to keep on complaining, go back to your parents every time you face a problem. So that's how I left Israel, and that's why I left Israel.